Dublin has always been a writer's city. And it has always been a place with a tide of people coming and going, some headed far beyond the Irish Sea that surrounds you. I'm Tana French, and I returned to live in Dublin in 1990. My detective fiction, like much of the new Irish crime writing or Emerald Noir, is shaped by what it means to be a Dubliner today. If you were driving through Dublin's streets 20 years ago, you'd be witnessing a city awash with money. New houses were built quickly, people's prospects changed overnight, property developers got rich. When the crash brought all that tumbling down, crime fiction began to explore the darker consequences. Ireland was often seen as wild and gothic by outside writers. They responded to places such as the Hellfire Club, high in the hills above Dublin, with its mystical tales of the devil playing cards here late at night. But as modern Ireland has become a country of its own, there's been a reaction against this image. Death in itself is a natural part of life. Murder is a rip in that fabric. The detective's investigation is a ceremony taking place around the dead to lay that person to rest. I'm interested in how that affects wider society from the murderer to the detective and all of those left behind. Crime fiction, wherever it's set, is a symptom of the tensions, the fears, the dark places of a society. It can reveal many new ways to see a place you thought you knew well. Ireland has such a formidable literary reputation that for a long time, people simply didn't write much genre fiction. We have our statues of our gods, of Joyce and Wilde, but over the past few decades, there's been a new energy from living writers. Who done it is not the question I'm most interested in exploring in my novels. It's the tensions and pressures around who done it that drive my writing into the darkest places. Familiarity with your surroundings can prevent you from seeing them clearly. Like a detective, I have a healthy respect for detail. If you were to put your nose up close to that JFK picture on the wall, for example, you'd find out the president had his first pint of Guinness here two years before he was shot dead in Texas. This city's personality has been built up slowly, layer after layer. Change has come quickly over the past 20 years. First the economic boom, then the collapse into recession. Now, the beginnings of recovery. What it means to be from Dublin is still shifting. For a writer, that's a great moment to witness, to see a city working out its future. And we don't know if what's hidden will come to the surface or go deeper into the dark.